I'm going to show you the three things I do on every single computer I get in order to get the best and fastest internet connection. And you can do the exact same things by simply following along. Sounds good? Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. I used to look after thousands of computers around the world for a company. And of course, one thing everybody wanted, regardless where they were in the world, was that faster connection to the internet. Back then, my IT tech team figured out a bunch of registry hacks that could optimize the computer's speed. It was a bit of a pain, but you know, it worked out really well, so worth doing. Thankfully today, there is a free app that does this for you. So I'm going to take you through this step by step so that you can do this too. Now, there's going to be a lot going on. If you're worried that you're going to mess things up, fear not, as I will show you how to undo all these changes, you know, just in case. Ready? Well, then let's go. Okay, so before we get going, let's run a baseline test. Now, remember, I have a 400 megabits per second cap on the download and a 20 megabits per second cap on the upload. Now, during this whole process, we're going to make a whole bunch of changes. What I always advise is to start off by creating something called a restore point. In other words, if anything goes horribly wrong or you've messed up some settings, you can always just simply go back to the settings that you had before you make any of those changes. And of course, don't worry, I'm going to take you through all that process and we're going to start with that first. Right, to make a restore point, go onto your start button and then type there create restore point. When that comes up, simply click on that. And the next thing you're going to see is a window that says, okay, these are the system properties. These are your hard drives that you currently have connected. I select my C drive, which is my hard drive, my main hard drive. Click on configure. Make sure that everything is turned on. Now, I like to allocate between 1, 3, and 5%, depending on the size of my hard drive. So I'm going to make it 1%. Click apply. Click OK. That's where it's going to store all my restore points. Next up, let's actually create the restore point. So click on create. Give it any name you want, something that you know to go back to this point in case something goes horribly wrong with any of the changes we're about to make. So create before customization. I don't know. Click on create. Takes a little bit of time and then it is done. Now, let's assume you something went wrong. Here's how you restore your system. Click on system restore. Click on next through this little wizard. There we go. Can you see our restore point that I've just created? There it is. Simply click on that. And then click on next and go through the wizard until you get your system back to before you made any changes. Okay, now that we have safe, let's carry on. The first thing you want to do is click on check for update. So in the command prompt, you type check for update. Click on the check for update button. You just want to make sure you're always dealing with the latest and the greatest. Once you have done that, next up, back to the command prompt. And this time we're going to type in power plan. And you see there's an option there called the choose power plan. Click on that. Now click on the little drop down box there and then choose high performance. A lot of people will have it on balance like I just had before we made a plan. And then click on change plan. Now next up, there's a little option there called advanced. Click on that. And then you see that option called turn off hard disk after X number of minutes. It Normally it starts off with 20. It can actually bring it down to zero. Uh, it's a little bit harsh for me, so I like to give it a number of five, for example. So I'm going to make mine five. And then as I scroll further down, there's another option I want you to have a look at. It's called processor power management. Now, minimum processor state, that should be set at 100%. Now, if yours is not set at 100% on this high performance, simply click on the word settings and then type in there I 100. Perfect. Then scroll further down, maintain maximum processing state. Again, if it's not set at 100%, click on settings and then type there I 100%. Now, essentially what you've just told your computer is that to go into a high power mode, high performance mode, and this is really, really going to make a difference. <laughs> Once again, click on the start button and this type type CMD when command prompts pop up there, right click and then choose run as administrator. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to type this command in SFC forward slash scan now. And this is just a good old file system check, making sure all is in order on your computer. Let it run through and go through the motion. Okay, assuming everything's all cool. 
the next command you want is from the description simply copy and paste this right in here and essentially what this is this is the deployment image servicing and management so in other words it looks at the image of your files that you have on your windows and just make sure that everything is cool there's no corruption and everything is as it's supposed to be now in case you run into any issues all you're going to have to do is simply use the next command that I'm going to highlight in the description. Again, this is just in case there's any issues with the first one. And this one's called Restore Health. And then again, it will simply take you through the prompt and just follow along. Here's where things get super interesting. Go to this link and you're going to download the software called TCP Optimizer 4. Once you've downloaded and installed it, simply go to the command prompt, type there TCP Optimizer right click on that when that pops up and then choose run as administrator once that comes up a whole bunch of options look super scary but don't worry you could always revert back to windows default see just simply click the button windows default this is my current settings i can choose optimal in case i don't want to go through the hassle of making all these changes simply click on optimal but we're going to click on custom and now we're going to customize this entire configuration so simply follow along and just do everything i do this is made up from a bunch of resources i found online and these seems to be the optimal settings first thing drag the top line of the connection speed all the way to the end even if you have got a slower connection rather go to 100 megabits plus connection right next up it's got an option for network adapter selection in other words which network cards will all these settings apply to i ignore all that and simply put a tick box where it says modify all network adapters so regardless whether i'm using the lan or whether i'm using wi-fi these will apply okay a whole bunch of settings coming up simply follow along the first thing we want to do is make sure your tcp windows auto tuning is set to normal leave that as is next one it needs to be set to disabled and then we move down the cubic one needs to be changed to ctcp rest is enabled time to live we want to make that 64 everything else on that particular side needs to be changed to disabled so disable this disable that and then disable that bit as well and then leave that okay cool so now your screen should look like this what you want to do is click on apply changes it's going to tell you these are the registry keys that it's going to update and then click on okay now do you want to reboot we're going to say no because we're going to make another set of changes and then reboot all together so click on the top where you click on advanced settings now again simply follow along as i've got it you can pause the video as you go through this so the top option you just want to change that to the number 10 the one underneath that change that to 10 as well okay so priority we're going to make this four um, host priority five dns six net priority seven as you scroll down instead of that goes changed to two and now scroll down again and then right initial rto we want to make that 2000 minimum rto can stay at 300 on the top right qos what we want to do is we want to make sure that you change that to optimal as one we want to make sure that that is changed to disabled okay system responsiveness we want to make it gaming even if you're not a gamer make it gaming you're going to get a little bit of extra oomph out of that as well okay next up let's change that to disabled tcp we're going to change that to enabled and then tcp we're going to change that to disabled so disabled enabled disabled right next one underneath that is a default to zero and it sets size default to one maximum user port 65534 tcp timed relay we're going to set it to 30 and that you is what your screen should look like click on apply changes click on ok and now it's going to ask you to reboot well now you should if you missed anything simply go back and pause it as you go along now let's reboot the system and see what difference it makes to my speed test right the reboot has been done now the proof is in the pudding let's go to speedtest.net remember before i was getting 300 megabits per second on the download what am I going to get now? That is the big question. Would it give me at least 300? I'm looking for an improvement. Okay, look at that. 429.58 megabits per second on the download. That is a pretty darn improvement. 
Now, when it comes to the upload, I'm probably going to get around the cap of my ISP, which is around 20 megabits per second. Now, always with these videos, remember it's about enhancing your own connection, your own speed, your own settings, so you can get as close as possible to the line speed that you're paying for. If you're paying for 5 megabits per second line, don't expect to get 429 megabits per second just because you ran these settings. It simply doesn't work that way. But let's get you as best speed possible with the connection that you're paying for. Now, let me show you a whole bunch more of faster internet settings that you can change right over here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the head below to subscribe. And of course, I will see you in those videos. Let's go.